once again from my house to your house. I'm Marie Moss, your church nurse. The numbers of positive cases of coronavirus are slowly increasing in Huron County. We are now up to 34 positive cases and one death. Actually, most of the cases are coming from the eastern side of Huron County. This week, Governor Whitmer extended the stay home, stay safe order until May 28th. We have, to, we have three more weeks of isolation. I'll have to tell you, that was hard for me to hear. I'm tired of this. I'm ready to get back being with people again. Lately, I've been thinking about the second greatest commandment. Love your neighbor as yourself. What does that mean during this time? How can you love others when you can't be with them? You should call those who are around you who are lonely and isolated. You know, stay in contact with them. And you've been doing a great job of doing that. Keep up the good work. What else could you do? I believe that wearing a mask is a meaningful way of loving your neighbor. By wearing a mask, I am protecting those around me from my droplets. I don't think that I'm sick. You know, if I did think that I had the virus, I would isolate myself at home. But many of the people who have COVID and who are spreading, around, spreading it around have no signs or symptoms of the disease. So by washing my hands and wearing my mask, I protect you and you protect me. There are plenty of masks in the cooler, on the ramp, at the church. So help yourself. Now, you might not be worried about catching this virus. Maybe you've been listening to some podcasts or some things on Facebook about how this is all a hoax and how people are making much more of this than they should. That might be true. But I'd like you to consider Romans 12:10. It tells us to honor one another above yourselves. It is a selfless act to protect others from the disease. It's putting others' needs in front of our own. I protect you. You protect me. So now let's think about the second part of that verse. Love your neighbor as yourself. Are you loving yourself? You can't truly love your neighbor as yourself if you aren't loving you in the first place. What can you do to care for yourself these days? Maybe it's time to call a friend, not to encourage them but to encourage yourself. Can you find ways of spending time with those who love you and who, lo and who you love and still stay safe? Connect by Zoom or by FaceTime. Maybe you could meet outside and stay six feet apart. Be creative, yet responsible and safe. In the newsletter this week, there are some resources for all ages, for some emotional support. There's a link there for parents to help the children deal with the pandemic. This has disrupted the children's lives in remarkable ways. There's a resource there that is especially for senior citizens. And then there's information for anyone to have a chat by text with a therapist. This is a hard time. It's okay to ask for help and to reach out to others for the emotional and spiritual help that you need. Because now, more than ever, it's time to trust Jesus and wash your hands. <laughs>